Welcome everyone to your very own virtual art classroom. I really miss seeing all your lovely faces in person. We had lots of fun together, but we can also have fun virtually. I would like to formally welcome you to my art studio. This is where the magic happens. It also doubles as my dining room, but between you and me, I don't eat in here much. It's mostly used for art. All right, with no further ado, let's get your creative juices flowing once again. I know you can do it. For this next activity, we'll be doing something called found objects illustration. And you're probably thinking, like still life, not quite. With still life, you place an object like a bowl of fruit before you and try to draw that bowl of fruit on your paper as realistically as possible. With found objects illustration, you're going to find small household items, kind of like buttons, it could be a pebble you find outside, an acorn, really anything. And you're going to place it on your paper and try to make something new around it. And that 3D object, which means you can hold it, is going to be part of your drawing. So, for instance, let's say I have a button that I really like. I place it on my paper and I draw a pig around it. But the button is going to be the pig's snout. So you don't have to draw the pig's snout. You're just going to draw the pig around the button. You following me so far? I want to start off by showing you some examples of contemporary artists who use this technique. First up, we have Christian Menza. He is an artist from the Czech Republic who's been working with this technique since he was 17 years old. If you want to see more examples of his work, you can look him up on Instagram or Google. So here we have Christian Menza's artwork. You can see how he used a brush and combined it with a 2D drawing to make a porcupine. Next, we have Christoph Niemann, a German illustrator who is a jack of all trades. That means he has many skills. As well as being an illustrator, he is also an author and animator. I think that's pretty cool. Someday I would like to be an animator. So this is Christoph Niemann. At first glance, his drawing looks like your typical watercolor or ink drawing. But here in the corner, we have an avocado placed on top of his drawing. This is what makes it a found object illustration. All right. Last but not least, we have Edgar Artis. That is A-R-T-I-S, Artis. He is an artist that I have been following on Instagram for quite a while, and his artwork never fails to inspire me. I really hope that he inspires you as well. Something that Edgar likes to do is take food and turn it into a fashion statement. In this case, he did it with lime. I've seen him do it with pizza. One time he posted a picture with sprinkle dress. I mean, Lots of stuff. This is something you could potentially do. If you like fa fashion design, you could do this. All right, everyone, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how to do a found object illustration. Bear with me. This is my first time doing an art tutorial video. All right, I'm going to walk you through step by step making a found object illustration. The first thing I did, I just walked around my house and found random little knickknacks that I could use in my artwork. So I have a button, eraser, a random leaf and a comb. I'm probably just going to do the button for time's sake. All right, so the first thing I did, I took my buttons and I put them in the middle of my paper. I'm going to probably make a little character out of this. So this is going to be my eyes. Something you could do, this is not, this is not required. You can outline your objects so you know where they are when you place them and take them off and then draw based off that but then eventually you're gonna put the object back on. All right, to recap, you are each gonna be creating your very own found object illustration. Hopefully I've given you some ideas of what to do already. If you have any questions about the assignment, feel free to contact me at maria.beasley at fortworthisd.org. 
I'll be happy to brainstorm some ideas with you. All right, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. This is exciting.